Greetings, I sincerely hope you're well. I'm doing a book review today for Cows by Matthew Stokoe. This book has been on my radar now for quite a while and I always presumed that it was cheap horror, cheap tacky shock material you could say, but I was pleasantly surprised. This book was published, this also surprised me, it was published way back in the, in the late 90s, I believe. Um, you, you could class it as extreme horror. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's fair to say. The general premise of the story is about a young man who lives with an abusive mother and he gets a job at an abattoir and whilst at the abattoir, he develops a taste for murder like a bloodlust and he gets introduced to this perverted co-worker and then he gets introduced and discovers this kind of seedy underground cow cult. A group of like, abattoir workers who worship cows but also murder them and kind of they're attracted to them in a perverted way. I enjoyed this book Despite its flaws, I enjoyed it. I mean, some of the characters were a little bit two-dimensional. Some of the dialogue could be described as unrealistic. But it's got something. It's got something going for it. E even the, the main two characters, the, the mother and the son living together, some of it is, is kind of laughable. The, the mother is so evil and so twisted, she, she reminded me of a caricature of Annie Wilkes, the woman from Misery. Like really over the top, like sadistic to the point of being like incredible, you know, like unbelievable. Um, there are also talking cows in the book, you know, you, you can't really take these things too seriously. But I still enjoyed it despite these flaws. Thank you for making it to the halfway point of this video. This is a quick message to let you know that I have a range of horror and science fiction books available and most of them are completely free. If you enjoy my videos, you might also enjoy my stories. It's also a great way to support my work. Read one of my books for free, leave a review for it and you'll be helping me to grow as an author and a book reviewer. And if you want exclusive updates about my upcoming publications, consider joining my mailing list. You'll also receive a free audiobook for doing so. All of the links are in the description box below. Now, back to the video. A considerable amount of effort has gone into the prose of this book. Cows by Matthew Stokoe is well written. The book is, every page has some kind of metaphor, uh, some kind of insight. The, the prose is almost spiritual in a way. Um, there's this atmosphere that pervades throughout the whole entire story. The town or the city where the story takes place is not actually named. It's an unnamed city. But as I was reading it, I pictured this town in my mind as being like sepia toned or not, not, not grey, but like almost tinted green. It was like an atmosphere I could almost see. The setting is, is done very well. The atmosphere is created very well in this book. Uh, the, the abattoir scenes, you know, the, the details in the abattoir I found quite convincing and the anatomical details of these cows and what happens to them is also very well written and I, I, I could tell it was quite well well researched and you know he didn't just sit down and think right I'm gonna I'm gonna write about an abattoir and just he didn't just make it up as he went along it, it seems quite well researched to me now the shocking scenes that there, there are some shocking scenes in this book it is it is shock material to a certain extent um, <laughs> there's a really weird scene where the main character, this young man, he's, he's with this woman in her apartment 
the woman is bent over a table in front of a TV screen or a monitor. The young man then inserts a medical camera up her ass and then basically you can see her intestine on the screen in front of them and he actually has sex with her with this camera inserted up her ass and you can actually see like her intestines and shit on the on the monitor in front of them as he's as he's fucking her that that was a bizarre scene um, there's another scene that that's that kind of springs to mind where there's a group of men in in the abattoir like three men on either side of a cow and they're all basically having sex with holes that have been drilled into the side of a cow pretty graphic stuff and there's another scene where he actually spoiler alert by the way there's a scene where he kills his mother and I won't go into too much detail there but it's it's pretty near the mark at worst this book could be described as cheap shock horror at best though it could be described as a young man's spiritual journey a young man's spiritual awakening awakening he starts off as a recluse living at home with his mother and then he finally builds up the courage to go outside and get a job and then he becomes a kind of cult leader in a way um, this may sound like a strange thing to say but it did actually come across to me at times like a bovine apocalypse now I kept thinking about Apocalypse Now whilst reading this book. I didn't expect that going in. I had no idea it was going to be like that. It's written like a spiritual journey. Apocalypse Now is about the main character going on a personal journey down the river. Cows is about a young man's journey from being a recluse to being a cult leader. I didn't expect that, but it is. It's very well written. I gave the book four stars on Goodreads, and I don't do that lightly. I gave it four stars mainly due to the writing style, the metaphors, the prose, and the insights that are on every page. And I gave it four stars despite the fact that the author seems to be completely unaware that all cows are female. There are certain scenes in the book where cows are described as male. There are male cows and female cows. To the best of my knowledge, all cows are female. But putting that aside, I was very impressed by, by this book. I gave it four stars and I actually recommend it. As long as you don't mind being grossed out, I think there's something to this book. I sensed good quality writing and I didn't expect it to be there. So, Cows by Matthew Stoko actually gets a good review from me, four stars, okay? Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back in two weeks with another book review. In the meantime, try to have a good day on this spiritual, bovine, horrific piece of rock we call Earth. Lots of love. Goodbye.